I'm one of those unfortunate guys that never stopped painting and drawing when everybody else grew up. So I didn't really start uh, with art at any point. I just didn't stop. Everybody is an artist when they're born and uh, kids they like to draw and make sand sculptures and stage different kinds of performance and they make rhymes and make music and uh, basically people are born artists and then the most people they stop at some point when they feel that they have to enter a mature world where they, they should think more of what to be and and um, making a career and money and so on well i just kept drawing I think that uh, when I find an interesting subject to paint, well, it's rooted in some essential question I have about life and existence and uh, the purpose of living and some urge to just find a direct route to life and see if I can stick to that point for an extended time and, and that time could be the period where I um, deal with a, a subject matter. So the subject matter of my paintings will change from time to time. As um, Also in order to refresh my memory and uh, get a um, new take on life. I find that it's so easy to fall in and, and uh, take life as a given and uh, wake up and, and work the routines. So I, I change style and I change subject and uh, I do everything in my power to trick myself so that I will tumble down and, and uh, smash my face right into life again again so the uh, subject right matter right now is um, a series of icons uh, of powerful people that have somehow affected uh, society uh, meaning the rest of us for better and worse people that i grew up with on on television or in books uh, faces that have been uh, considered more than human, like sub, uh, over human beings. And in order to reach a better understanding of these over human beings, I, I add the tear, a drop, make them cry, because only humans cry. And uh, once that uh, we realize that these over humans are, are basically human beings, it's possible to relate uh, as one to one and get an understanding uh, of what they did and how they could do what they did. Um, I've taken this exhibition around a little bit. I took it to Berlin some time ago and uh, the, of course the main icon in Berlin was uh, Hitler addressing the population of the Germans. This is Hitler, Adolf. He's kind of got a bit of a plastic face. Uh, I made another Hitler before. And uh, then I took it to Copenhagen, Denmark, where the main icon was our previous uh, Prime Minister, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, who is now head of NATO. A person that we can relate to as Danish people. And now the show is going to Russia and I will bring Putin as the main character, as the main icon. Because the Russians will be able to relate to Putin. And I've chosen to work in the pure color 
not to 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 make a so-called flesh tone, but work in pure colors to make it clear that this is a painting. This is not trying to be a human being. This is a painting on canvas, and as long as it's a painting on canvas, it will be associated with thought. That means you have to put some thought into it. You know, it's art, uh, and um, when it's art, there's always some intention. This is uh, Bush uh, Jr. This guy is hard to recognize. It's uh, Paul Potter. He killed at least two million people. This is Obama. That's the last, latest piece that I've done, and I haven't done anything on the back. Um, I'm going to sign him today. This is Idi Amin from Uganda. You know, he, he's the guy with the children's soldiers. You know, you just come and pick the boys and take them and make them into soldiers. He has that spot. If you kiss this spot, you can change the world. It's like kissing a frog. But nobody ever did, unfortunately. So, with a funny hat. You can see it's all kind of abstract in here. A bit like that. So that's um, some. It's important for me to that there's uh, contrast between the, the wild and the controlled. Uh, working with art, I think it's uh, interesting to address the pools of frozen emotions and frozen feelings that uh, lie within uh, individuals and also groups of people. And not so much to provoke people as such, but in order to open, uh, defrost the pools of emotions and feelings so that we start um, working with them. So we open up a bag of feelings and some will feel offended and some will feel excited or happy. But that uh, these frozen feelings uh, are defrosted so that we start communicating and start moving. Uh, as a community.